are you worried about creating content for Schoology all over again? So you've got a new Schoology account and you're worried sick that you'll have to start from scratch again. Well, I got good news for you. You can always import the content from your old account to the new one. Here's a quick solution. Previously, if you've been using another Schoology account and now you want to transfer all your content to the new account on Schoology, then this is how it can be done. Let's get started. All right, so I'm kind of logged into my new account, but first I need to go to my old account. Here's my old account. So under courses, I've got my grade nine English. And let's suppose that this is the folder week nine that I want to transfer to my new account. Week nine, March 15 to March 19. So let's get started. First of all, just scroll up, go to groups. Under groups, click on my groups. Let's create a new group. Click on create group. Uh, I'm going to name this group, let's say content transfer. Leave everything as it is. Just go ahead, click create. So our group is created. Here is the access code. We'll talk about it later. For now, let's go to the content in resources. Under resources, right now we do not have any content in the resources, but remember we're going to copy from resources. As you can see, the resource tab is, up, is, is right up there. So simply go back to the course, English 9A, and remember this was the folder that we wanted to transfer to our new account. Simply click on the gear icon on the right side, Click Save to Resources. Under Resources, I'm going to choose the Home tab, and I'm going to save a copy. Remember, it's going to take some time to be copied to the resources, depending on the content of your folder. So it's been copied to Resource folder right up there. Let's go back to the Groups. Scroll down and remember we created content transfer group. If I go to it, I'll click on the resources on the left side. And let's go to the resources first. Let's see if we have the resources that we've added. Under home tab, we copied the folder. Simply scroll down. As you can see, we've already copied here the folder in the resource content. Simply go back to Groups, scroll down, click on Content Transfer Group that we've created. And now on the left side, click on the Resources. Click on Add Resources. Copy from Resources. And let's, under Home tab, let's browse for the folder that we wanted to import. So just simply check the box here and click Copy. Again, it's going to take some time depending on the content of the folder. We're good to go. We've already added the content here in the group. Next step would be to copy the access code. As you can see that we have all the content in here in the folder. A lot of stuff is here. It's easy to transfer to our new account. Simply copy the access code. Switch tabs to your new account. Now under new accounts, click on groups. Click my groups. And let's join group. Click on join group. Remember the access code paste it here. Click join. There you go. The content transfer group is here. Click on content transfer. Click on resources. Great. 
So we've got the content in a new account. Now you can add it to a course or you can simply copy it to any course. All the options are here. Click add to course, for example. Choose the course that you want to add to. For me, I can add it to group 9A. Okay, folders, there are no folders in that class right now. If you had folders, you could just choose the folder and add to that folder. For now, uh, because we haven't started yet, you can simply click on add to add it. But for now, it's a demonstration. I'm not gonna just click add, I'm gonna cancel it. If you want to add it, click add. That's all. Thank you very much, hope you liked it.